What's up, Metalheads? My name's Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel. The monkey almost fell. And I'm so happy you're here. Uh, today we're going to be checking out a pretty cool looking knife. Um, I've heard some good things about this one. Uh, good and bad, actually. And I'm curious to check it out. Now, this knife was sent in for the knife sale, but it, it may actually end up becoming a giveaway knife at some point in the future. We shall see. Uh, I will be doing an overview of this knife, but this is just unboxing and first impressions. This knife was sent in by Craig, by the way. Thank you very much, Craig. Craig's uh, Instagram is linked in the description. Give him a follow for sure. Great guy. Great, great, great guy. With an amazing knife collection, too. All right. Let me stick this box out of the way over here. Get out the way, yo. Get out the way. Yeah, it is chunky. It is a little chunker for sure. Kind of boxy, like a like a brick almost got a little weight to it say over four ounces how's the detent migron does a great job so i'm no doubt it's going to be good yeah that's pretty good yeah it's good i love that grind on that blade that's what really drew me to this made me like this so much when i started looking online about it i think i saw it on neve's knives channel a month or so ago and uh, i saw the way this grind was done I'm like man that's pretty sweet looking so I think that's a titanium clip. Looks like a milled titanium clip. Yeah, it is a titanium clip. Um, interesting. I think this knife runs a little under $50. 14C28N also. Not bad. I mean, first impressions here are pretty good. You could hard use this one for sure. You got some thick blade stock all the way out to the tip. This is not going to be the most slicey. Actually, probably will be pretty slicey with that grind the way it's done. But it's thick out at the and robust out there at the tip. As you can see there. Yeah. Definitely could use do some hard use with this one. Ergos are pretty good initially. Feel pretty good in hand. You can choke all the way up to here. Yeah. Yeah, thick. It's a, well, I'd say it's well over half inch thick. I'm curious. I'll know all this during the review also when I do it, but... I'm just surprised. It's thicker than I thought it would be when, I, when I'm holding it. Where we at right here? Yeah, 0. 0.6, almost 0. 0.6 inches, so a little over half an inch thick. It's tall also. Very tall. Whoops. Yeah, well over an inch tall also. Beefy, beefy. I like you. I like you. First impressions is I like you. Where's that stop pin at? Oh, it's on internal stop pins. Yeah, internal stop pins on this one, which makes me look at this as like, oh, it was so easy. They could have put a front flipper in there so easy. Everybody doesn't want a front flipper though. I gotta remember that. Some people don't like front flippers. I don't know what's wrong with you people, but some people don't like front flippers apparently. I'm just kidding. I didn't used to like them either because I used to cut myself all the time trying to figure out how to do it. But once you get good at it, you get hooked on them. I love front flippers. But I love thumb studs too. Yeah, I like the finish on the blade too. That stone wash is done extremely well. Very well done. So, cool beans. You'll be seeing more of this knife on the channel in the future. Not just the overview. I'll get some other plans for this one and a couple others. So, uh, keep an eye out for a pretty cool video. Oh, they're all cool, right? Actually, most of them are pretty dumb. But thank you for watching anyway. And I'll see you guys on the next one.